all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekal Kodash, and uh, double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, do real well. And salute, man, most love to you, since your brothers who push this truth week in and week out, man, y'all brothers. Hey, stay strong, man, we almost home, for real, for real, and uh, hey, man, never become an organ donor. <laughs> hey, for real, never become an organ donor. This for all you Israelites out there, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know, never become an organ donor. Hey, even, even if you were heathen, the so-called believing God, don't become a damn organ donor because look at what this devil was doing with your organs, man. And in particular, we ain't going to look at all the organs. We're just going to look at your sexual organs, which we're going to pinpoint the male sexual organ, which is the penis, man. Look at what this devil is doing. He is saying that he's ready to start doing penis transplants for, uh, for, uh, yeah, I know. The alphabet people. You know? The T genders, man. He's trying to do penis transplants, take penises off dead bodies, and give it to the T community, the T people. You know? That is blasphemous. That is wicked as all out here. That is an abomination, man. You know? Esau's wickedness is unmatched. This devil is the heavyweight champion of wickedness, man. I'm talking about. Hell, we thought the Hamites was wicked and Sodom and Gomorrah. They were hella wicked. But Esau has surpassed them. He's giving transplants and uh, all these different fucking uh, 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 surgeries to these weirdos, man. These com gender confused weirdos, man. Giving out all these hormones, so called medications, man. Allowing these demons to transform, which. A man will never be a woman, man. A woman will never be a man. They can never transform into the opposite gender. But this devil, this uh, this mad man, this mad scientist, man, he's on a suicide mission, man. That's why he's doing what he's doing. He's on a fucking suicide mission, man. And the Most High is going to stop this devil. So we're going to start it off with this, man. Sirach 38 and uh, 23. When the dead is at rest... Let his remembrance rest and be comforted for him when his spirit is departed from him. Exactly. When the dead is at rest, let his remembrance rest. Let him rest, man. You ain't got no business be cutting people up and taking organs and chopping that ride off and running all, doing all kind of experiments and research and ugh, this, ugh, all this abomination, man. You ain't got no business doing none of that, but hey. Esau is lawless. Esau is the devil in the flesh, incarnate, man. He's lawless, man. You ain't got no business. Here it is. You get robbed in your death, man. Not just different, um, um, what's that? Different policies or whatever where they rob you financially, take your money and all this other shit, man, but you actually, this devil was actually taking body parts off of you in your death, man. And giving them to sick, twisted trainees and calling it treatment, medical treatment. You know, so let me let me get into this article, man. This is filed, man. This is filed. You're supposed to let the dead rest, man, and give them their proper burial. But, uh, hold on. Let me see. Uh, This is uh, medpagetoday.com. And this is uh, the surgery transplantation category. And it says, hospital debates penis transplant in transgender patient. Now, I'm going to read some of y'all. Uh, you got a weak stomach, man. I mean, try to hang in there with me, man. <laughs> I'm going to try to edify you, man. You know, but if you got, hey, if you can't hang in there, hey, just go to another channel, man. Or go to another video I got. It says, landmark procedure could revolutionize. Sex reassignment surgery, my goodness. And uh, I ain't gonna even say who it's by y'all. I can see it on y'all's screen, but this was uh, October 8, 2020, when this was uh, published. So, in the move that could revolutionize gender reassignment surgery, hospital officials in Boston are considering whether to allow a first ever penis transplant in the transgender man, which a transgender man is basically a woman who wants to be a man, you know, uh, a female sodomite. So, surgeons hope to attach a 
dead man's penis to the groin of a patient born as a biological female. I'm going to read that again. Surgeons hope to attach a dead man's penis to the groin of a patient. A patient, bro? They call him a patient. Well, they're calling her a patient, man. Surgeons hope to attach a dead man. That's why you shouldn't be an organ donor because your penis is considered an organ, man, a sexual organ. So, surgeons hope to attach a dead man's penis to the groin of a patient born as a biological female. So, what's this chick name? Uh, Young M.A.? She probably going to be in line for that surgery. <laughs> Young M.A. Queen Latifah. <laughs> Who else, man? Uh, and a lot more because, man, it's bad out here, man. I'm talking about, especially in my generation, the average female, he, she, she's into that lesbian shit, man. It, it's sickening, man. But that's how you know we at the end. That's a big sign of the times, man. You know? It says, this will be a quantum leap if you were ever to transplant a real penile structure. It's certainly pushing the boundaries. Curtis Citrula, medic, MD, a plastic and reconstructive surgery at Massachusetts General Hospital told MedPage today. We're ready to do it. That's what they said. And we can do it pretty soon if we can get it approved. I'm hopeful we can do it. It would. I'm hopeful we can do it. They see, these devils, all they care about is money. They care about money, man. You're a customer, not a goddamn patient. You know? It would be super, super helpful to a lot of these transgender patients. Oh, Lord. How is that helpful, man? It says surgeons in the U.S. Hold on, man. Let me let me get to the scriptures. Then I'm gonna come back to that, man. This this is insane. This is insanity, man. That shouldn't even be a school for these devils to even practice this type of shit. To practice and learn how to even do this type of witchcraft. That's what this is. Witchcraft, man. Boy, this devil got a lot to pay for. Let me get this, Job. Job, 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 13 and 4, but ye are forgers of lies, ye are all physicians of no value, exactly man, you're a physician of no value, this, this is your practice, this is your profession, that is of no value man. That is co completely contradictory and adverse, adverse to your whole boss, you shot, man. Hey, the most high, he created male and female. Two genders, simple, male and female. But now in this society, if you say there's only two genders, there's a big uproar. That's an outrage. That's how you know we at the end, man. If somebody say there's two genders, there's some big outrage about that, man. Some major uproar. You know, you get canceled. <laughs> that is insane. Matter of fact, hold on. Hold on, man. Let me go to Matthews. Let's see what your Howard Shot said, man. Since a lot of these LGBT people can't claim that they're Christian also, so let's see what your Howard Shot said. The one who they call, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. This is Matthews 19 and 4. It says, and the answer that said unto them, have you not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female. Male and female. Male and female. And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife. A man shall cleave to his wife, a woman. And they twain shall be one flesh. They twain, those two shall become one flesh. How do they become one flesh? By the act of sex, which is marriage. According to the Bible. But instead, this devil got it to a man marrying men, women marrying women. You know? That's how this devil got it. And he's going to be judged for that. He's going to be judged for that. He's going to be judged real hard for that. Real hard, man. And, um... Right, that's why the most I call these devils the border of wickedness also, man. This shit is completely outlawed in many, many countries throughout this world, man. Can't nobody go uh, to school to learn some shit like that. And, you, and people can't go to get some shit like this done to their body. 
You know? There's many countries where they put LGBT, LGBT people in their fucking place. What's their place? Death. You know? And that's according to the Bible. That's Leviticus 20 and 13. You know, that's Romans, the first chapter. But I'm going to continue on. It says, uh, it says, surgeons in the U.S. and South Africa have only performed a handful of successful successful penis transplant. And you know who in South Africa? Esau. So U.S., Esau. South Africa, Esau. Esau leading the way, man. Surgeons in the U.S. and South Africa have only performed a handful of successful penis transplants. All in adult men who lost their genitals to, to cancer, genitals to cancer or trauma. So Trula led a landmark 2016 transplant surgery in a 64-year-old man who'd had a penectomy due to cancer. In a 14-hour procedure in 2018, Johns Hopkins University surgeons successfully attached a penis scrotum in parts of abdominal abdominal wall to a surgeon who was severely injured in a bomb blast in Afghanistan. Surgeons reported successful recovery of ur urinary and sexual functions in both cases. Uh, there are no general... I don't even think this shit right to... Uh, I don't even think it's right for a man to get a, a transplant, a penis transplant, man. Uh, you know, that's wicked, too. You sit there chop a penis off a dead man and put it on another man. That shit wicked, too, man. If the Lord blew your, blew your ride off with a bomb in Afghanistan, or you caught cancer and lost your ride, man, then that just is what it is, man. You know, but this devil wants to play like he's the most high. He like to play God, you know. They tell you that in what Second Thessalonians two. I'm gonna get that too. It says there are no generally accepted penis transplant guidelines, no agreement about whether the procedure is appropriate for transgender patients. There are no generally accepted penis transplant guidelines, no agreement about whether the procedure is appropriate for transgender patients. It says MGH currently allows the transplant in men who have congenital penis defects or who lost their penises to injury or cancer. Officials are considering whether to expand the existing protocol to allow the surgery in a specific transgender patient. It's a true say it. It says the main objectives of penis transplants are to provide an aesthetic phallus, urinary function, and sexual function. Oh, man. Including erections <laughs> and erotic. Erogenous, erogenous, however you pronounce that, sensitivity, he said. It'll never be the real deal, I'm going to tell you that right now. He can't replicate what the Most High has created. Esau cannot replicate, he cannot do a true replication, even though it might look real deal, it'll never be right. So, while outcomes remain unknown, the prospect of penis transplants and transgender men is huge. Oh, man, play on words, some weirdo shit. And you know what? Most of them, uh, 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 the T's are going to go for the, uh, the Judite ride, the, the so-called black ride, because the whole world know who got the biggest ride, man. You know, they're going to go for that Judite ride, uh, even if they're a so-called white man or another, another so-called nation, they're going to go for that black ride, you know, and I'm pretty sure those are the most available rides to go for because niggas is the number one people in the grave, man. Niggas is number one people on them damn tables at the uh, mortuary in the morgue. Niggas is the number one guinea pigs. You know? It's no coincidence that Esau has melanin for sale by the gram. By the gram, man. Lots of money. You know? Hey, y'all the number one uh, 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 abortions, too. That's the number one cause of death for the so-called black man and woman in America. Abortion. He saw making a quadrillions of dollars off that too, off them body parts and all that. Man, anyway, man, you devils got a lot to pay for. It says California gender reassignment surgeon Marcy Bowers, MD, told MedPage today, "This is like a heart transplant to someone who has end stage heart disease. It's that big. Prior methods were just so substandard in so many ways." Anyway. A heart is like a heart transplant. A heart transplant is life saving, nigga. How is this comparable to a heart transplant? But anyway, as Bowers noted, phalloplasties 
in which phallus and which phalluses are constructed from flaps of skin have complication rates of 80 to 90 percent. That means they complicated, period, 80 to 90 <laughs> percent. And that's not the only limitation. Oregon activist and author Jameson Green, Ph.D., a transgender man, told MedPage today. So this is a woman who wished she was a man. Told Med Page today that phalloplasties don't have the same aesthetic appeal as natural penises and they don't enlarge and get harder, man. Oh, well. Oh, Lord. They're always the same size. Oh, Lord. It says, Medio Metodia plasties are another option for transgender men, but they also have limitations in these precision surgery. I'm going to jump to the point, man. Okay. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to read right here. Compared to these existing options. So that was going over different options of so-called penis transplants and surgeries where a woman can get a, can so-called get a penis. But, uh, Compared to these existing options, Cetrulo said a penis transplant ideally will offer fewer, fewer urethral complications, better cosmetic outcome, and better physiological sexual capacity. Oh, man. Still, limitations include the fact that transgender men, women who, bitches who wish they were men, who receive penis transplants will not be able to ejaculate. <laughs> like I said, you'll never be the real deal since they lack a male reproductive system. It's also not known if they'll be able to have erections. For now, Satrula said the plan is to see if physical stimulation of the transplanted penis will enlarge the clitoris enough to trigger blood flow to the corpus cavernosa in the penis in erection. Alternatively, as in the fellow man can get implants or pumps to allow erections. However, anyway, let's get to the scriptures, man. You devils must be stopped, boy. You devils must be stopped, boy. You devils must be stopped, boy. Hey, man, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go to Second Thessalonians, man. 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 That's like rape to the ears just even listening to this shit, but I just did it for edification, man. You know? Let's see, uh... 2 Thessalonians 2. And I started. Started. Hold on, I'm going to go all the way back up to the top. I'm going to start at verse 4. Jump to the point. Who opposed it and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worship, so that he, as God, sit in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Now, who's playing God here? Who the hell, like I said, the U.S. and uh, South Africa, and you know it's all throughout Europe, too. White people, so-called white people, man. So-called white man, man. You know, the devil himself. And it says, remember you not that when I was with you, I told you these things. And now you know, and now you know what withhold it, that he might be revealed in this time. And this is him being revealed in this time, man. And revealed in this time for the mystery of iniquity do it already work only he who now let it will let until he take until he be taken out of the way exactly the most eyes letting this happen you know but this shit is about to reach a climax to the point where the most high just got to take him down and we at them times man we at them times man just like when you read right here this devil said this piece of shit said we're ready to do it. So we're at them times, man. We're at them times. So it says, For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked that be revealed. It's locking. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Right now he's spiritually cons consuming them with the spirit of his mouth by way of the prophets. By way of his servants, man. And Lord willing, no one of those men. You know? 
who speak in the words of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah, man, consuming them with the spirit of his mouth. Because the prophets of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah are the mouthpiece of them, Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And uh, it's going to actually become a physical thing where the Lord is going to make his return and literally start destroying. Literally, man. Yahweh Shah is going to make that return. The one who y'all think is going to be all fish and chicken grease, chicken grease and uh, cha-cha sliding and dancing and playing when he come back. No, he coming to do a lot of slaughter, man. And he only coming to uh, save a select few. That's his election, man. You can read about them in Revelation 7 chapter. It says, uh, it says, uh, even him who's coming is after, after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Hold on, I skipped some. Okay, verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Man, power and signs and lying wonders after the working of Satan. This is totally of Satan right here. The word Shatan, Satan means uh, uh, adversary, man. This is completely adversarial to your how about shot, man. Verse 9, man. <laughs> this devil holding that little sword in his hand, that little uh, scalpel, whatever. It's just a, that's basically a little sword, just like that needle. The syringe, that's a little sword too, man. A little dagger. You know? And the devil shall live by what? His sword, man. Esau shall live by his sword. And hey, you know what? These people don't even practice. Like I said early in the video, they're lawless. They don't even practice the law where you read about in Numbers the 19. If you touch a dead body, these people who chopping rods off and taking organs and shit out and cutting off lips and eyeballs and all they don't even practice the purif the law on purif purifying yourself after you touch a uh, dead body, man. You read about it, read about that in Numbers the 19th chapter, man. You know, you read about that in Numbers the 19th chapter, man. Hey, normal thieves still when they still till they had enough. This devil, he's stealing things that you would never imagine, man. Like like I'm reading right here, <laughs> man. Let me see if I got something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude. Dude, dude, dude. Let me see. Deuteronomy 20, 25. It's an abomination for a male to put on a female's garment and a female to put on a male's garment. It's an abomination. But I ain't going to get that right now. You can go read that yourself. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. But, uh. You know what? I get it. I ain't going to just quote it. I get it. And then I got one more script after that, man. I'm going to leave you out alone. Uh, Good Romney. Chapter 22. Verse 5. It says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So, you studs out there, you're an abomination. You queens, I'm talking about you niggas who dress like a female, you, you, you so-called, you tease, y'all an abomination, man. Y'all went, and now you go as far as putting the male genitalia on the female, or putting the female genitalia on the male. Man, that's beyond, like, that's beyond wicked, man. And, um, I'm going to get this second Peter, so I'm going to leave y'all alone, man. I, I'm tired of looking at this on my screen. I'm tired of talking about it, dude. It's nasty. This is Second Peter's. Let me see. Second Peter's two and six. It says, uh, "And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes." Hold on. Okay, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example or an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Man, so the Lord already created that example 
or Sada nigga more uh, wicked, a uh, beyond, a uh, super wicked ass place full of sodomites. Basically, he destroyed that place because he hates sodomites. He hates the act, and he hates the ones who commit the act. And he destroyed that five cities of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Faggots, faggots, freaks, lesbians, and bestiality people. People, people who commit bestiality, all kind of shit, man. Just nasty. But America far surpasses that. America is far larger, and America has far more of those people who practice that so-called lifestyle, man. And this devil is going far, farther with it, with all these surgeries and putting that shit all on the TV and putting it in the children's school. It's just, oh, man. Man. He created an example of here you go and you want to build new Sodom, new Gomorrah. Man, you got one coming, devil. You got one coming. Let me finish this up. And he delivered just a lot. Vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. See, this article, this is the filthy conversation. This is a prime example of the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds, man. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Man. Man, I'll leave it right there, man. Blessings to you, Sensor Akim out there, man, for real. All praises to y'all, Bashin Al Shah, Bashin Rakakwadash. Shalom to the whole for elect. Kwam Yashala, a Bible ball, man.